you know, Jacques Cousteau always used to say, if we knew what was there, we wouldn't have to go. So any problems that come up during the dive, I'm going to have to solve them myself. Communications with the surface will be difficult. They may be spotty. We may not even have voice communication. steel is here in the, in the hatch to withstand the, the pressure at that depth. So this is the steel sphere here, this is where the pilot, the pilot goes. Uh, we've got the fact that when you dive seven miles down and come back up seven miles in the big empty ocean, the sub may not return to where it's supposed to be and the search and recovery crew have to find it, have to get you out. can't get out. So we may complete the dive, get all the way back to the surface, and then have a potential hazard at the surface of being trapped inside the sub. Of course I'm, of course I'm worried. Worry is a good thing when you're an explorer. I think when you're cavalier, when you, when you take uh, risk for granted, that's when you're going to get bit. know that we're going to see very strange animals like amphipods and holothurians, uh, other kinds of invertebrates. But science can't answer one very basic question. Are there fish? They think maybe not because the calcium of their bones actually would dissolve at, the, at those extreme pressures. The idea here is to prove that this machine and, and these new technologies can provide a viable platform for science. We're going to the deepest point in the ocean, 36,000 feet below the surface, and we're going to take the public along for a ride so that they can experience what Jim Cameron is seeing and experiencing as he descends to this alien depth.